Good morning everyone. I have crazy hair today. I'm feeling a lot better this morning. My voice has kind of like come back to normal and I'm just feeling much better. I'm going to edit yesterday's video. I have a lot of footage from that to edit. And then I'm going to, uh, well I'm going to have a shower first and then I'm going to do that. And then I'm going over to Paddy's tonight. We're going to watch some Christmassy movies. I know my sister will kill me if I watch Home Alone. So I'm not going to be doing that without her. It's going to be like Christmassy, like getting you ready for the Christmas season. Or like movies that you watch over Christmas. Like Indiana Jones, Back to the Future, those type of movies. Which I absolutely adore. Like Uncle Book, stuff like that. Gremlins. They're not technically like Christmas movies. But they're Christmas feel movies. Like they're the things that you watch around Christmas. We're having a movie night together. I think he bought cupcakes for us as well. He texted me and told me like there was like these Smarties or Hershey cupcakes that he got for me. And we're just going to have like a real chilled evening. Also... Sadly, I've made him sick. He has like a strep throat or something like that. I feel terrible that I made him sick. It's not my fault. I couldn't help it. I can't help being sick. Anyway, I'm gonna go and have a shower now because I really, really wanna wash this hair. Like it's greasy and just not good. And like, it's like, I don't even know what's going on with it. It's just not cute at all. And um, I hope you guys are enjoying Vlogmas. Did I even say happy Vlogmas day five? I don't think I did. <laughs> but happy Vlogmas day five. Yeah, into the shower with me now because I, I seriously need to get my act together and work, finish working and stuff. And I'm really, really, really hungry this morning. I think my appetite's back. I haven't really ate much since Monday. I just had, I haven't really had an appetite. So I am looking forward to eating something like... I don't know, I really want like McDonald's, is that bad? I had McDonald's last Friday night when we were out. But now I really want it. And all the Christmas decorations went up last night as well, so I'm so excited. Christmas has officially begun! Hi guys, I'm just out of the shower and a package arrived while I was in the shower and I'm so excited because it's shoes that I ordered! Woohoo! So I ordered them from Public Desire, you guys know how much I love my Public Desire shoes. I'm obsessed with the brand and they always make the nicest shoes. I just took this out there for a second. But these boots are just gorgeous. They are sock boots, which again, I'm obsessed with. And you know the nude ones that I have from Public Desire and I live in them. They look like this. So they're like again, sock boots. And they're this kind of like smooth material. I don't know what you would call it, like lycra almost. And the heel is four inches, which I think is most of my sock boots are that high. I just absolutely love these. I've been looking for a pair of these for ages. Every time I buy sock boots, the heel is always really skinny in them or they're like leather. You know, they're just not what I'm looking for where these are perfect. I got them in a size four, I believe. Yeah, four. And I'm just really loving them. I'm super excited to wear these. I think they look really nice with jeans. And yeah, they're just really comfy. So that's what came while I was in the shower. I also wanted to show you um, this package that I got from Baptiste. They do my favorite dry shampoo ever. So they sent me out a few bottles of the dry shampoo. So the first one that they sent me was this one here. It's a brilliant blonde. So it's obviously for blonde hair and it's obviously a dry shampoo. I don't know if this has like a color in it or it makes your hair look blonder. I'm not really sure. The other one that they sent me was the original, which just kind of has like a really fresh scent. Like it kind of is a bit citrusy almost, but it's very, very, very fresh and makes your hair smell amazing. And then the tropical one, which is my all time favorite. Like I actually don't think that there's one that compares to this, except for maybe the bright one, I think it is, or is it called bouquet? I'm not sure, but it's like a flowery scent. It smells amazing as well, but the tropical, by far favourite and this I've never tried before if anyone else has tried this do let me know it's more of like an invisible formula it says and it's supposed to hydrate as well for all hair that's normal or dry moisture avocado okay so it's supposed to add a bit of moisture into it and it has an invisible formula so you know the way these kind of like leave almost like a powdery residue on your on your hair that kind of obviously soaks up the moisture. I'm presuming that this doesn't leave any sort of like feel or texture or dryness or anything to your hair. So I'm interested to try this out. I'll definitely give it a go. Finally, I just want to show you the other pair of Public Desire shoes that I got. So these are 
so pretty. I haven't bought a new pair of heels in the longest time ever. Like, I'm gonna say maybe a year, maybe longer. It could be like even a year and a half. I just haven't really seen any heels that have like, caught my attention, but these definitely did. So I just put one on, but they're these beautiful, that's just from the other one that I put on, beautiful gold pair of wrap round heels. Okay, so they look like this. So they have like a real pointed front on them and then they have this real skinny kind of heel on the back and then they obviously wrap around. Now I'm like always confused when I put on shoes like this of how to get my foot into them. Like you know the way that all the strings are and just complicated like I just get very confused over it. But these are just so pretty like I'm actually obsessed with them. So I put one on now I am wearing tracks and bottoms so they don't look the best but I'll show you what they do look like on a foot. So you can kind of see them there in the mirror. Oh, it's really hard to see, but they look so pretty. So I've kind of attempted to wrap them around. Um, sorry about my bandy toenails. They're not even painted. But they're so pretty, these shoes. Like, I love that kind of, like, long pointed toe at the front. And they are quite high, actually. Like, you can see them up on my tippy toes. They are quite high. But they're very, very nice on a foot. I quite like them. I need to fix them up properly. They're cutting off my circulation. My little baby toe is like stuck there. So I need to like fix them. But they're super pretty. Definitely going to be wearing these out over Christmas with like a nice outfit I guess. My baby toe looks real deformed there. Okay guys, so my hair ooh, is dry and I'm just going to put the straightener through because it's just a bit crazy at the moment. And um, I'm just getting myself organised to go and spend a few days with my boyfriend. Um, so I'm just getting organised for the night because obviously I'm not staying here tonight. Ugh, I think my hair's like all matte at the back. Ugh, look at this, it's just not cute. So I'm gonna just run the straightener through it and then hop in the car and head over to his house. I put a little bit of product through my brows because they were looking a bit dead, just like myself. So we're off now and um, yeah, I don't know how much more I'm gonna be able to vlog today. Yeah, but I'm gonna take us in the car. We're gonna have a little road trip. We're gonna talk in the car. Um, sorry, today's vlog is really boring. I know you guys hate when I say that, but I just sometimes feel like the things that I talk about and the things that I do are just extremely boring. En route over to his house and my hair is still bloody wet. I didn't realize that it was still wet at the roof. I never dried it properly. That's very annoying, that bloody loud radio. It'll just have to air dry now at this stage because it's gonna dry all matted and everything. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna pull in and get a coffee, I think, because I, I really fancy a coffee. Um, I haven't had coffee all day. I'm not going to get Costa because the queues in Costa to be just ridiculous. And to be honest, I don't feel like queuing, so we're just not getting that. I hope you guys are having a great December so far. Have you put up your Christmas decorations yet? Have you put up your Christmas tree yet? Like, tell me, tell me everything. I was making a list of movies. I don't know if I was mentioning that to you earlier, um, but we were talking about it, movies that we need to watch for Christmas. So I wanna know like what you guys' obscure Christmas movie is. It's not themed around Christmas, but every time you see it, it just makes you think of Christmas. So like I have loads, like for instance, Harry Potter. I know there is Christmas scenes in it, but it's not a Christmas movie. But I just think of Christmas as soon as I watch any of my Harry Potter movies, even though I love Harry Potter and I watch any time of the year. Um, I also feel that way when I watch Indiana Jones, which is what I brought over to Paddy's because he was like, bring over like Indiana Jones, I really wanna watch it. Obviously, Back to the Future, real Christmas vibes right there. Gremlins, it's like definitely up there with a Christmas movie for me. So I suppose it's not really that obscure. Uncle Buck is another one. It's really obscure for Christmas. Christmas movie but it just makes me think of Christmas straight away when I watch Uncle Buck. The Goonies is another one I think of Christmas straight away. E.T. Christmas movie. Like there's so many movies that I just think of Christmas straight away. Like Jurassic Park is another one. But what is your obscure movie? Like a movie you have to watch every year at Christmas time but it's not really themed around Christmas. I'm just really looking forward to this Christmas as well because there's just a lot of things that I want to do and it's exciting things. I've started my Christmas shopping as well so I'm starting to feel a little bit relieved because I feel 
I kind of have an idea what everybody wants for Christmas or not wants like people don't want anything but I just you know they might have said something throughout the year been like oh yeah I'd like something like that or I'd like something like that so I kind of have an idea of what I'm getting people um, my sister Ollie is the easiest person ever. She'll literally send me links to things. She's like, I like this, I want this, and I'm like, great. And I do the same thing to her. She asked me what I wanted for Christmas, and I was like, I want, there was three different runners I wanted. I either wanted a pair of black Converse because um, I, something happened to my black Converse. I don't know, they either disappeared, I lost them in the move, um, whatever, but they're gone. I wanted either black Vans or I wanted new Nike Air Force Ones. So I just said to her, like, whichever ones you want to pick, at least it'll be a surprise for Christmas. So I'm very happy out. I'm also, speaking of like m losing stuff, I have literally lost so many things. Like I have obviously winter clothes, summer clothes like us all. I don't have like autumn clothes and I don't have spring clothes. They're just summer and winter. So I will transition my clothes from summer to winter. I'm um, obviously in around September and I'll put all my summer clothes away as long as I've no like more summer holidays coming up throughout the year like you know unless I go away in October or something but generally by and large summer clothes go away away in September so I take out all my winter clothes so that includes like hoodies jackets jumpers long sleeve tops the usual but I have lost so many of my, my good clothes like I've lost a Hollister hoodie a pink hoodie and it was like a nice pink hoodie it was a burgundy color and it had like glitter down the arms you probably remember because I always wear it like this time of the year I have it like maybe like a year and a half but I absolutely love it and it's gone missing and then oh sorry actually a lot of you guys are like keep two hands on the steering wheel I have a manual car so I'm always like keeping one hand here like changing the gears and I'm currently kind of in traffic so I know someone in my comment section is freaking out over, over this hand I am changing the gears guys so it's okay hands on the steering wheel all times I am a safe driver I promise I'm driving 10 years never so much as had a dip to touch wood anyway I've lost loads of like lovely blazers. I had this gorgeous green, like army green, khaki green, whatever you want to call it, blazer. And it had gold buttons on it. And it was like my favorite blazer ever. And it's missing, like it's completely gone. Like it's missing from my wardrobes. Um, and I'm missing like long sleeve pink tops. And I'm missing like just a lot of like decent staple piece of clothing. I'm missing a two jackets, a grey jacket and there's another jacket that I wanted that I had that's kind of like a tweedy one that I'm missing as well and I'm just like where are my clothes gone to because I haven't seen them since I moved home and that was like nearly a year ago so I'm just presuming that they got lost in the move which is just really devastating so now I'm gonna have to like I don't know just mourn their loss because I realistically don't need any more clothes but I'm just really sad over it it's just awful I hate when that happens like you just have really nice clothes and the next thing they're missing and they're gone for good and there's just no finding them and they're just that's it like they're just finished gone you go over like time to part ways <laughs> it's the saddest affair ever I'm nearly at the coffee shop now guys so I'm just gonna run in get my coffee and um get driving then because I'm like nearly there so talk to you guys in a little bit